the C terms, um, we're just looking at, you know, CFR and CIF, your, your C and inland waterway only. Um, once again, make sure to insert your named port of destination for CFR and CIF. And for CIF, insurance is covered by the seller. So the C terms are the only places here that we see um, insurance is specifically called out mm -hmm. um, on responsibility. So when we move down to CPT and CIP, um, all modes of transport, you also remember to insert your named place of destination and for CIP, insurance is covered by the seller as well. So your seller's obligations here are transport arrangements, um, the charges associated with transport and uh, most of the costs to the name place. Yeah, and the, and the reason why we say we don't recommend a, a C term, say on an importation is, I'll give you an example. You have a container coming in and something's happened. You got a line down situation now. Who am I, who do you contact? You may not even know. You contact your shipper. They, they tell you to call Joe Blow in, in Miami. Uh, you try to get a hold of him. You don't know. He doesn't know you from Adam. I mean, that's, that's, that's a difficult situation when you got a hundred people breathing down your neck for that cargo. So you know, just bear that in mind and also bear in mind, like we see in a lot of cases, especially if you're buying LCL, uh, say to Chicago. So C, C and F Chicago on an LCL shipment, you know, it's, you're happy, you know, the shipper's taking care of it all. It's pretty much close to your door. But then what you don't realize is that when it gets here, all the destination costs are collect and you haven't negotiated any charges with anybody and boom, you bring it in, you know, a cubic meters worth of cargo and you got 450 bucks to pay just to get it in and out of container and, and onto your truck. So there's another, there's some pitfalls with that, which uh, you, know, you should just be mindful of. Yeah, some, uh, we've had instances where clients have had full containers shipped to, you know, we'll say CPT LA, and then you have to unload the container and truck that all the way inland. And sometimes that costs more than just booking it all the way in, you know, inland on the rail. Well, it's only gonna be more know. than the ocean freight. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So can I use CIP or CPT Incoterms for ocean freight? Yes, you can. All modes. Terrific. 